Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. So today we are going to continue our lesson for the first chapter, Computer System. But before that, let's recap for the first, for the previous lesson, okay? So K is the smallest unit of data a computer can process. What is K? Smallest unit of data would be bit, right? Next, how many bits are in two bytes? Okay, how many bits are in two bytes? The answer would be 16. Why? One byte is equals to 8 bits. So 2 bytes is equals to 8 bits times 2. And then we've got 16 bits. All right. Next, which of the following number system consists of only zeros and ones? Only zeros and ones. Is it decimal or binary? Only zeros and ones? That would be binary. All right. These are the example of binary, okay? You see here, 110 base 2, 101 base 2, 10 base 2, okay? These are the example of binary. Next, F00D base 16, FD base 16, 01B base 16. Which of the following is the number system used above, okay? Number system used above, okay? Is it decimal or hexadecimal? The answer would be hexadecimal. Why? Because hexadecimal is base 16 and it consists of zeros until 9 and F and A until F. All right. Next, 11101 base 2 convert the following number to decimal. Okay, you have five seconds to solve the question. Five seconds starts now. Five, four, three two one okay so how do we solve this okay to convert the number the binary number to decimal we use place value method okay and the answer will get 29 base 10. so for the first subtopic of information processing cycle you have learned how data is transformed into information right okay and last week just last week on the sub second subtopic you've learned number system and representation where you learn how data is stored okay so for this week you will learn how data is interpreted in a computer using a scheme okay and that scheme is called information coding scheme at the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe how computers encode characters using ASCII, 8 bits, APSIDIC, and Unicode. You will also be able to calculate the total number of bits and bytes in a given word based on each coding scheme. And lastly, you'll be able to differentiate the coding system based on number of bits and total number of character represented. All right. The first content you learn is ASCII, which stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Second one would be APSIDIC, which stands for a Standard Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code. And third, Unicode, which stands for Uniform Code. And lastly, discussion, which includes the calculation for each scheme. All right. What is Information Coding Scheme? Okay, information coding scheme is the patterns of zeros and ones combinations used to represent characters. Okay, there are three standard coding scheme, which is ASCII, which stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, APSIDIC, which stands for Extended Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code, and lastly, Unicode, which stands for for uniform code, which is capable of representing all world's language, all right? So this information coding scheme is used to translate real world data into a form computer can process easily, all right? First, ASCII. So ASCII normally uses eight bits, which is one byte to store each character. Back in the 1960s, the basic ASCII is an improved over the five bits and six bits codes. The basic ASCII used the eight bit as a check digit, meaning that only seven bits are available to store each character. This gives the basic ASCII the ability to store a total of 128 different characters. 
However, the ASCII character set is barely large enough for US English use and far too small for universal use. As years goes by, many more letters and symbols are desirable. So in 1970s, okay, computers and peripherals standardized on 8-bit bytes, making it become obvious that computers and software could handle text that uses 256 character sets at almost no additional cost in programming and no additional cost for storage. Hence, the basic ASCII is extended to 8 bits, which uses the 8 bit to store data, allowing for a much larger character set. So, in this lesson, we will look at the extended ASCII, which uses 8 bits. Right, so ASCII 8 bits is the most widely used information coding scheme. It uses 8 bits to represent one character. So it can represent 256 different characters, which is 2 to 8 different characters. Okay, so this ASCII is used in mini computers and personal computers because it uses 8 bits to represent one character. Okay, due to that, it takes up much more lesser memory okay so these are the example of ascii okay you can see here character one two three four a b c d as well as symbols okay these are the ascii number for each of the character all right next absidic okay absidic okay so absidic used by mainframe computers and servers okay it also uses 8 bits to represent one character. So it can represent 256 different characters just like ASCII. So as you can see here, okay, although it it can it can represent 256 different characters like ASCII, okay, it has a different number set. Okay, as you can see here, ASCII for A 01000001, while for Absidic, it's a total different code. Point. Okay. Although ASCII and APSIDIC takes up less memory, okay, the problem with ASCII and APSIDIC is that it only allows us to represent small number of characters, which is only 256 different characters. Hence, it is only sufficient for English and Eastern European languages. Okay, it is not large enough for Asian and other country that uses different character set such as Tamil, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, and others. Okay, as you can see here, we have Anyong, Hello, Chiao, Hello, Sautika, Konnichiwa, Bonjour, Ni Hao, Ola. Okay, so as you can see here, Chiao, Ola, Hello, Hello, okay, can be represented using ASCII and Absidic. But for Korean, Thailand, and uh, Japanese, and Mandarin, it cannot be represented using ASCII, okay, or APSIDIC. That is why we have to use another information coding scheme, which is called Unicode, okay? So this Unicode is most widely used, okay? commonly used right now, okay? It uses 16 bits that represent one character, okay? Due to that, it can represent 65,536 different characters, okay? So this Unicode can represent all world's written languages, including emoji, as you can see here, okay? This Unicode is implemented in our computer operating system, like Windows, Linux, Macintosh, all right? So in summary, okay, information coding scheme has three, okay, which is ASCII, APSIDIC, and Unicode. Okay, for both ASCII and APSIDIC, it uses 8 bits to represent one character, hence it can represent 256 different characters, okay? For ASCII, it is used on many computers, personal computers and server, while APSIDIC, it is used on IBM mainframe, mid-range system, and high-end servers, okay? As for Unicode, okay, Unicode uses 16 bits to represent one character. Hence, for that, it can represent 65,536 different characters. Okay, so this Unicode is implemented in several operating systems. Okay, so these are the examples of character for each coding scheme. Okay, as you can see, A, ASCII, 
0100001, Absidic, different one, and Unicode. Okay, as you can see here, Unicode for the eight for the last eight bits, as you can see here, 0100001 is the same with ASCII, but it has another eight bits in front. Why? Because Unicode uses 16 bits to represent one character. Okay? For discussion, let's look at the calculation. Okay, question. The phrase below used ASCII coding scheme. Identify the number of bits used to represent the phrase emergency number. And how to do that? Okay, first, you have to calculate the total number of character. Okay, to calculate the total number of character, okay, you list it like here. Okay, and then you get emergency number. Okay, you, you counted all of this character, including the space character. Okay, the space is also considered as a character. So, you'll get 16 characters. All right, next. You have to identify the number of bits used in the coding scheme. Okay, first identify the coding scheme used, which is ASCII coding scheme. So ASCII uses 8 bits, okay? ASCII uses 8 bits. Okay, now after we have identified the total number of character and the number of bits used, okay, we multiply the, the characters and the bits, okay? So, the total bits used would be 16 characters multiplied with 8 bits, and you'll get 128 bits used to represent this phrase, okay, emergency number. Next, the phrase below used Unicode coding scheme, okay, Unicode coding scheme. So, identify the number of bytes used to represent the phrase data analyst, okay. How to do that? We first calculate the total number of the character. Calculate the total number of character, including spaces. And this symbol, this last symbol, you'll get 13 characters. Next, you'll have to identify the number of bits used in the coding scheme. Okay, the coding scheme used is the Unicode. So Unicode used 16 bits. Okay, next, you have to multiply characters and the bits, which is the total bits used will be 13 characters multiplied by 16 bits, and then you'll get 208 bits. Okay, is this the final answer? No, okay, because the question asks you to identify the number of bytes, number of bytes, and you get this one is a bit, okay, 208 bits. Okay, now you have to convert the bits to bytes, okay, remember, bytes, one byte is equal to 8 bits. So you have to divide, okay, 208 bits, divide by 8, and you'll get the answer 26 bytes. Okay, and that is our final answer for this question, okay? 26 bytes is used to represent this phrase, okay? And that's all for today's class, okay? If you have any question, you can telegram me or you can just email me on philsa.sazali at yahoo.com. And again, thank you so much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!